In this video, we will talk how to reproduce someone else's data into our review paper. For example, in this article, we are having two plots and these plots are, this is the surface plasmon resonance of copper nanoparticles. So this is the UEVs profile of copper nanoparticles and this is the silver nanoparticle experimental profile. So what we would like, we would like to reproduce this one or this one or a combination of this one. For example, we are going to plot in our review paper these two as a combined graph. Now how to digitize these to reproduce them in one review one's review paper so let's first uh, take a snap of this one and a snap of this one and they will look like this that this is for silver nanoparticles and this one is for copper nanoparticles now open origin inside origin we are having the option which is digitize in image so i will click this option and a menu will appear and it will ask me which of the plot you are going to digitize so i will select this one silver first and i will go there now let me maximize this plot in order to see it and a box will appear with this one and this will tell us about selecting our axes so the very first one i click here is the color over here is blue and as i click this one then this blue color will turn its color to another color and i will have to drag it to x1 so click here as i clicked here it changed its color here and it is now recognizable here so i will click on this one and i will use the arrows key to move this one to the center of the axis and i will give it a value as here we are having the value 300 so i will give here 300 and then I will click the next axis. Now the next axis is X2 and it is now turned green here. So I will click this one and I will move it to the axis. And here I will select the final value which is 700. Then I will click the next one and it is this one which is Y1. I will click here and I will move this one to the center of the line and the value of it is actually 0. I will click the next, click here and move it to the central of that line which is very bold compared to this one and select the value 1. So now we are done with our axes and now we will have to get our data. So for data click here manually pick the points and now it is saying that double click or press enter to pick points for zooming press A and then escape for all entries and over here in this dialog box actually a zoom option is already there a magnifier is there we can change the magnification setting here and here because sometime we want to have some very minor details in our plot so keep this one at the default and now come here so start from the very first value which is on the axis and it is this one double click here and wherever the curve is having more curvature we will have to select more points so that to include the very fine details in it and it may not be that very smooth but it will definitely fix some data on the line 
and wherever it is becoming almost smooth then we will have to select the points a bit far so it is up to our hard work that how many points we are going to select the smoother our plot will be so here I is this is the peak so I will select a bit more close points and here it is now here is some glitch and that glitch may be experimental or some instrumental error so I can even ignore this one and go on so here I will take point says it is a very smooth decrease like an exponential decay so I will select the points a little bit far here very near points are not required so I will select around uh, 28 points I have collected so far so this one is the 30th point then here and here and here and then the last point I will select on the axis now as I am done with the data I have just selected the points now I will click done and as I click done then I will go here go to the data and now my data is here so let me see my data points here is the data and now is this is the x column this is the y column I can select it and I can plot my data and my data is here so let me select the columns the scale for this one and the scale is from 300 to 700 and on the vertical axis it is from 0 to 1 so this is the plot that I just designed from this one I'll have to close the digitizer and you can see here that we have designed this plot now the data is here with us and I will go now to the next plot so this one is done so I will just remove this one it is no more required because we are having our data points here and this is the name will come automatically here now I will go to the next image and the next image is that I will select this one and now the copper and similarly I will proceed as I did for the previous Now we are having this data for the copper nanoparticles and this for the silver nanoparticle. Let me copy this data here and add another column and here I just paste this data. So here this is my X column and this is the Y column. Here I will write silver nanoparticles and here I will write copper nanoparticles here I will write wavelength nanometer and here I will write absorbance so the absorbance is here and now I will plot this data and here I can see that 
the two data points are actually with us one is up to 700 and the other is up to 800 we can separately plot them so this is the way how to reproduce the data now if i take one of the plot for example i just only take this one and i plot it so here i see that the data is not very smooth so in order to make it smooth let's first go here and select this one and then i will select the points for this one let's say 12 here and the plague is fine so i apply and okay and now i change the axis so I change the scale in 300 to 700 and the vertical I change from 0 to 1 and now what I am planning I am planning to smooth this data so is the data points are missing here so I would like to smooth this data now this cannot be done with a single fit so I do a trick here and the trick is that I go to peaks and baseline and multiple peak fit and I go here and a dialog box appear it will say the peak function is gauss so I say ok and now it is asking me that double click to pick peaks how many peaks should be there so let's say first I select this one and then I select the downward here I select some point here another peak here the peaks are not supposed to be many points but around five to six peaks we can select it will smooth our plot on later points we should try to avoid selecting many peaks because this is just a decay and the Gaussian fit will do the job and I open the nonlinear fit and here I see that this is a deconvolution type means so many peaks and this is one of our final peak which is the cumulative so I run one iteration and I see the bleak one this is now fitting this is the sum of all these peaks so one two three and I do more iterations and I am now seeing that almost all the points are being fitted at the middle and I go till the last point and now my peak is here so I select OK and as I do OK I don't need these tables so here what I did I just created a non-linear curve here and this non-linear curve this is the independent variable and this is the dependent variable means the cumulative of all these peaks i copy this data and i move to here and here i just select two columns and i just paste the data back here and here I am giving absorbance in silver nanoparticles and this I will write here silver nanoparticle so right click this one set is X and now I plot this one and this one in the scatter plot and I can see it is like this so just do the rescaling And now I can see that the points which were missing over here are now being filled up with a complete data. So this way I can smooth my plot and I can reproduce it with proper citation to the given reference and such things are extremely important for writing a review article. Thank you for watching.